Hello and welcome to Greeting Star. I'm so glad you could join me today. So this is the card we're going to be making today and I'm using supplies from the April 2021 Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month. Those dies that you see there did not come in the kit. Those come from Hero Arts. There are the infinity dies and it's like the stamp set one. Um, but I'm just going to trim down this front panel for my card. You can see those pretty gold dots there. It's foiled which makes it really beautiful. And I'm trimming it down to, it's an A2 size card so that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And that's going to be my front panel. Then I'm going to take these two and use those stamp dies to cut those uh, two little layers there for my card. And you can see that that works perfectly. You can see the words let your light shine very easily. If I would have used the dotted paper, which I did try, uh, you couldn't see the, uh, it was too light and you couldn't see the words let your light shine and the dots kind of were a little bit uh, too distracting. So I switched it around and decided to do it the other way and that worked much better. All right, so now I'm just putting some of this adhesive down so that I can adhere that beautiful gold daisy panel to the front of my card and I'm trying not to waste any of this tape so I just put a little extra there uh, on the back of that other uh, piece of paper that I'm going to be using. So this is a pretty fun and easy card. I, If you've watched the video where I uh, tried to pair the patterns, it was the unboxing video of this kit, I was trying to figure out, I always like to go through and figure out which pieces of pattern paper will go well together. And this kit seemed to have a lot of pattern papers that, uh, you know, if to my eye, I was having trouble pairing them. Uh, so uh, I did choose these three pieces of pattern paper in that video, and uh, this is how I decided to use them. So hopefully it'll provide some inspiration for you if you happen to uh, have this kit. Now here I'm just going to go ahead and trim the edges of this adhesive. This does come in the kit, and I'm just gonna trim it down so I can use that to pop up that second um, layer on my card and I thought that would be a kind of a, a really nice little touch. This would make a beautiful card for anyone uh, depending on uh, you know what you want to say to them. Now that little sticker says let your light shine but you could also put something on there instead of using that sticker you could say happy Mother's Day or happy birthday. I mean it can be altered to fit any occasion that you'd like. I think it's a beautiful little card and it's lots of fun to make. Now I did put those three little pop dots there in the middle just to make sure that, that, that the, um, the sticker that I'm going to put on here, since it is, uh, does have some layers to it as well, I wanted to make sure that that paper doesn't sink in the middle. So I wanted to give it a good foundation. So that's why I put those little dots there. So now it's got like two layers of um, dimension there. So uh, this would be a difficult card to send through the mail unless you put it in uh, protective packaging instead of just a plain envelope. So I'm just going to use my Tombow Mono to adhere these die cuts and these uh, die cut leaves did come in the kit. You also get that gold paper. So the only thing that did not come in the kit is obviously the Tombow Mono and then the Hero Arts Infinity dies that I used to cut out those two layers for my card. So everything else comes in the kit and I'm just applying this Tombow Mono by tapping it on the back of these leaves. Uh, I find that that really works well for me. Just do the little bit of tapping and it come, you only get a tiny bit, which is perfect. You know, I have seen um, another uh, person use like a makeup sponge and they just put a dab of glue on a piece of paper and pick it up with a makeup sponge and then just kind of dab it onto the back of their die cut shapes but for me especially if you're doing the gold here you want to be really careful not to get that adhesive on the front of it because that really makes the gold it takes the shine away and looks makes it look very dull so you want to be careful not to get that glue on the top of the the gold leaves there or any other gold die cut that you happen to have. So now I'm moving on to the inside of the card and I'm going to use the stamp set that came with the card and it says you um, Oh, we'll see what it says in just a minute. I always forget what it says. But anyway, I'm just using, I'm just kind of eyeballing to see how I want to cut this. I want the strip to be a little bit thinner than uh, this little dotted piece here. You, I think it says you are my sunshine. Anyway, I'm not sure. We'll see. But anyway, you just keep trimming this down because I want it to look a certain way. Um, 
and I'm deciding and thinking and so that's why that's what you see me doing here so I'm making this piece a little bit shorter and then I'm gonna come in with those two other pieces from the front of the card because I want to go ahead and uh, just tie it all in together and that's a fun thing to do is just use your leftover scraps for the inside of the card to to bring the same sort of design from the outside to the inside so that's what I'm doing here and I'm trying to decide on the placement and layout and I I just I'm not real happy with it so I bring these two pieces of paper back in and I decide to go ahead should I put it should I make it uh, should I use that piece as a mat or what should I do and I'm just thinking and I'm deciding and playing around and having fun and that's what you should do when you make cards too because the process of um, doing this teaches you things you learn things as you're as you're playing and as you're going through and not only is it fun but it's also educational you learn things so it's a good thing to do so now I'm just going to trim two pieces out of this other pattern paper and I want it to be just a little bit bigger than that that piece of uh, cardstock there that has the stamp pattern on it so now I cut one and I'm just going to use the other one as a guide to cut the other one so it'll be the same size and when I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and place those down with a little space between them. And then I'm going to put that one there. And then this one, I'm going to turn it cat -a corner. It's straight now, but once I get done, I'm going to, going to tilt it a little bit to give it a little more interest. Okay, so now it's time to stamp onto uh, my... Uh, oop, no it's not. It's time to go ahead and adhere these down. <laughs> So I'm going to adhere these down first and then I'll stamp the sentiment on my paper there. So again, this adhesive did come in the kit. So that makes it nice and I remember to use it this time instead of using just my own supplies. It saves your own supplies if you use what comes in the kit. Now you can see here that at the bottom that daisy piece is, is kind of flipping up. I don't like that. So later off camera I go ahead and adhere it down with some Tombow Mono. But you can see here I'm using my Precision Press from We Are Memory Keepers. And I also have a sticky mat in there that's an electronic cutting mat. You can order them on Amazon. And I'm just pressing. It says you bring the sunshine. It doesn't say you are my sunshine. It says you bring the sunshine. So I think that's a really sweet uh, little sentiment there. And I'm not pressing hard. I'm just pressing, you know, light pressure but firmly. And then uh, I hold it for a few seconds to let the ink soak into the paper. And then I open up my press and then I go ahead and it's ready to go. And I'm just going to apply that there. And see, first I had it straight, and then I decided to tilt it because I thought that looked better. So that's kind of an interesting look for the inside of a card. Uh, I think it ties it all together and makes it look really nice. So let your light shine. You bring the sunshine. And then you can write whatever you want on the left-hand side. So that's my card for today. I hope you guys had fun watching. I hope you give it a try. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.